G'day, welcome back to Jez Beer Reviews. Now, we're we trying a bit of a special beer tonight. It's a Trappist beer. It's the La Trap. It's here door. Okay. It's here door. Uh, this beer is a 7.5%. Uh, so, yeah, it's got a bit of kick. And this is a brown 330ml bottle. Says on the back, uh, brewed to mark the occasion of the Trappist Brewery's 125th anniversary in 2009. A slightly sweet amber ale with a hint of caramel and fruity aftertaste. Brewed with water from our own spring. So, uh, yeah, let's crack it open. It's been a while since I've had a trap. Mm, already it uh, smells pretty good. Now, I purchased this uh, beer from uh, Warner's by the Bay back there at Christmas time. I actually sent a bottle to Swillengrog, so you'll be seeing him review the beer very shortly. Oh, well, not shortly, but sometime this year. Oh, no. Wow, that's um, a bit like that uh, other Belgian beer I had there on uh, New Year's Eve or somewhere. That put... Uh, the smell was just bloody wonderful. Look at that. Now, colour. There's the amber appearance. You've got you know, one ring of head, which is pretty good for this Trappist glass. The smell. Oh, super rich. Super rich alcohol smell. You've got alcohol, you've got fruity, dried fruits. Sweet. Reminds me of a dessert wine. I don't know, it's, uh, it looks pretty good in the glass. Cheers to his all. Yeah, you get that sweet, fruity flavour. Tiny little bit of, little, uh, bit of, uh, a little bit of smoke from the roasted malts. Give that taste of alcohol and a little bit of warmth. You're getting real, that alcohol is really drying up. Yeah, like I said, it's got that warmth. I can just feel it a bit. It's sweet. Yeah, we're talking like a sweet, fruity flavor. Fruity is like a, uh, like a dried fruit. Raisins, we call them sultanas. Yeah. And that warmth is there and yeah, it's already actually starting to feel it. This is must be getting old. Yeah. Very, um, very nice. It's a rich beer. Uh, okay, session ability? No. <laughs> Just have the one. It's really one. This I've had the bottle sitting out for about half an hour of the fridge. So, you know what? After this review is finished, I will just keep sipping away at this. And you will get more flavours as the beer warms up. It's even warmer. That actually hasn't been that hot here. It's actually had a subly come through and went from 43 degrees back down to 28. So that's why I cracked this beer open because it's not too hot. So rich, rich, rich malt, rich like fruits. Yeah. So, the body, it's a full body beer, as you would imagine. And it's holding that head beautifully, that head. 
so that head's going to go nowhere. Very creamy. There's a bit of a creamy mouthfeel to the beer as well. It's, it is rich and strong, so yeah. Anyway, so um, yeah. The trap. Yeah, is it all? I think I paid about seven dollars for this. Well worth it. Well worth it. Um, it's just a Trappist beer. I'm going to score it. I'm just going to go call it a Belgian ale. Just to cover it. Uh, give us a score of an A. It's pretty tasty. It's very, what you imagine, Belgian Trappist. Um, they make some good beers. And, uh, if you ever want to go and watch um, Michael Jackson Beer Review, uh, his Beer Hunter series when he went to Belgium, because um, he loved Belgian beers, really good to watch. And he actually goes and sees monks and all that. This is back in the late 80s, early 90s. Um, so you should go watch that. But they make some darn good beer, and it's really something you appreciate. You work your way, you know, you start at the bottom, you start in like lagers and you work your way through all kinds of beers, you, you get a taste for it, and you hit some of these Trappist beers, and um, yeah, they're just, uh, I don't know, they're, they're just a beer, it reminds you of a simpler time, just good beer, and uh, and they just, quality wise, they just smack of quality, there's no Russian uh, which, you know, it's just, it's made right. No, I can't speak highly enough. Especially, like, well, I don't know about the trap beer. Actually, I don't think I've had bad Belgian beer. They're all pretty good. Anyway, so an A for the trap is it all. Right, thanks for watching episode of Jez Previews. Till next time, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.